let's declare a helper function named display which will allow us to visualize the individual elements of a three component vector so i'm using string to print the name of the vector so that's why we also need to include string so once declared i'd like to add this function here at the bottom so the function name is display it takes a string and a three component vector and I would like to continue using fixed format and precision 2 is fine for our debugging purposes. Next we can print the tag and the new line and I'm adding vertical bar to the output and then individual components of the vector can be referred to as XYZ inside this vector which is the parameter to our function and then we can print another new line and that pretty much completes our function here. And now we can visualize our vector by calling display vector QP and pass it as a parameter to our function. So now we can build this and run it. So these are the actual components of our vector. And the next operation available on vectors is the inverse which is achieved by simply using unary minus or applying multiplication by a scalar which is negative so we can add the inverse to our program by typing something like this vector qp equals vector qp negative after this the elements of our vector have been updated so let's display it again and you can see that the elements were actually inverted all individual elements got inverted as a result of applying negative sign in front of the vector